Hey everybody, it's Alex from KeenOnTheMarket.com with your end of day ES Mini Euro Gold Treasury Stock Unusual Option Activity Report Market Daily Recap. Uh, today, you know, was a snoozer. We were waiting for Bernanke to uh, give us his uh, prognosis on what he's going to do with rates. Again, they're extending QE. QE into infinity is my saying. I think that's the only play they have right now. Uh, let's go over kind of the daily action. I talked about this yesterday. I'm looking for some vulnerable candlestick bars to possibly go short. Uh, right now, we looks like we closed on a doji uh, in a pretty good sweet spot that I would say for possibly shorting the market. Uh, we retraced a perfect 618 uh, Fibonacci retracement from the measured high of uh, May 1st down to June 4th. So to me, this is a perfect retracement area. Coupled with the uh, Ichimoku cloud setup, this is a pretty good risk reward in my point of view. Again, I cannot tell you how to trade your own money. I can only tell you how we trade ours. I'm risking about up to the 1380 level, so a full break above the cloud uh, as far as uh, my short stops. And I'm looking for you know targets as low as the lows that we hit on the fourth, uh, maybe a little bit lower depending on the steam we get to the downside. So I'm definitely looking at uh, a short SP uh, trade for a swing trade, three to five week kind of trade. Let's take a look at the five minute bar. Uh, basically really boring day today. You know, we opened up, we kind of just uh, phased out. We sold off. I was actually short a few uh, contracts, and um, you know, as we rallied back, I uh, got stopped out at a little bit of a profit. I just had a trailing stop. I actually should have gone and reshorted a couple of these uh, sell signals in the end of the day, but I just thought there wasn't going to be much follow through. Really choppy action. I mean, you could have taken this long signal here and gotten chopped up. So it was a really tough day. Uh, it was a good day to under trade a lot of a lot of stuff. The euro again had a really crazy candlestick action, sold off huge. There was giant uh, VXX call buyers right before, like literally the minute before the announcement came out. Came out. Uh, they might have taken it for a scalp trade, but I just thought it was really interesting that uh, somebody put a huge bet down uh, right before. Uh, I talked about yesterday, I was a little nervous about the candlestick action to the upside for the euro. Uh, you know, it looks like there's sellers that are, there's some significant sellers here. We got these two tails that uh, on the top of the last two bars coming in at 27.51. Uh, we are in kind of an overbought uh, posture similar to the SPU um, in, a, in a broader downtrend. So I don't know what's going to lead the way, the euro or the SPU, but uh, definitely both of them are in a similar posture. Let's take a look at crude. Again, this has been a snooze until today. We actually broke through the lows that we were kind of identifying as possible support. Um, you know, that oil number came out, and there's a huge overhang of uh, of oil. So, you know, if we broke through this level, you know, this is a pretty long uh, bearish flag here. I would almost measure from where it broke out on the cloud. To the downside, which is you know pretty significant uh, possible target. You know this measure move is giving it down to the sixty-four dollars a barrel level. This is quite the opposite of what I thought a few months ago. But uh, you just got to go with the trend. Trend is your friend. You got to play these breakouts. So tomorrow, if we break through the significant low, you could see uh, some more significant selling for the oil market. GLD is kind of breaking my heart here. I thought we were going to get up and above this, uh, you know, this trend line and, and out and over this uh, this Ichimoku cloud resistance level. You know, I would think that there would be a little bit more follow through given the um, the pretty inflationist vocabulary that came out of today's meeting. But you know, we're yet to see any movement here on the GLD. Want to take a look at the bonds here? You know, there's kind of this. Uh, significant pattern that's going on. You can see it a little bit better in the TLT 
you know, we broke it to the upside and then we actually closed back beneath it. So there was non-confirmation. Um, you know, we need to get a higher high here uh, for it to really trigger any type of trend reversals. So, you know, rates are still uh, trending down, bond prices up. So that's pretty much for the it, it for your video recap. Again, if you would like to take a peek into the trading room, uh, please email sales at Keen on the Market. When Andrew gets back on Monday, there's going to be a lot more action going on, and we're going to get started on our next webinar, which is going to be how to play earnings.